Well, let us see the basics of array function in Excel. Usually, in the given example, we use the product by just multiplying this unit price into the quantity, we get the product, the total value of the given quantity. This is how basically how we work with a, with a single unit of cell. Let us see how we work with an array means a group of cells having values like this here. Unit price, this whole section is called array. Similarly, the quantity here, this whole section is called array of values. Let us see the same example. What happens if one array is multiplied with another array? Previously, we saw just a single cell multiplied with another single cell. Here, select the entire column to which the value should be given. Press equal to select the array that needed to be multiplied with it. this array into this. Select this array. Select this array. Okay. Select the, the next quantity array. Control enter. Okay. You got the values of these two arrays multiplied. Here you can do this. Sum the is equal to so. Select the entire uh, column with graphic control. This is the sum of these products. The same thing can be done by using this array formula in the sum formula itself. Let us see how we use the same thing. We are going to use sum sum array formula equal to now select the column, the array which needed to be multiplied with this one, this column, this array, close the brackets. Close the brackets. Press Ctrl Shift, Enter. See here, you got the same value down here. The same thing can be done using this array formula here in the sum. That is the advantage of using array formulas. Here, where we do it in a two step fashion. First, you multiply these two arrays, you get value here, and then we do the sum. In this step, we directly multiply these two arrays. And we get the value. The same function can also be done using sum product. The same sum value can be found using sum product function is equal to sum product total. This is the first array that uh, we are going to work on. Comma. This is the where to select the second array. So that is control shift. Enter. See, this is the sum product formula used to multiply and get the net result. This is how basically the array formulas will be helping us by reducing the number of steps required in a given execution. So, I think uh, you people have got my basic idea of how these array functions or how arrays are organized. 